next dish we're going to make is a three bean chili, a hearty three bean chili. This is perfect comfort food. You know, we're all so busy today and we want things fast, fast, fast. And as a consequence, we compromise our health, we compromise our taste buds, and we compromise our wallets eating out as much as we do and eating on the run. So we wanted to show you how easy it is to make delicious, nutritious meals for your, yourself, for your family, and this three bean chili is just perfect for that. I absolutely agree, Colleen. I love this dish and I make it all the time. Now, to begin this chili, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up our pot. So if you want to get the pot started. No problem. Terrific. Doesn't Whoosh. have to be too hot. You don't want it probably low to medium flame. Nice. And we are going to begin by heating up a bit of olive oil. Now we're using olive oil. As a general rule, you use olive oil for cooking, for sauteing. It has a very strong flavor and obviously there are lots of different kinds of olive oil you can get. And you use canola oil for baking. And I say only those two oils because they're both monounsaturated and that's really all you need to cook with or bake with. Absolutely. We are going to heat up now some whole spice seeds. Mm -hmm. We have here lovely coriander seeds. Beautiful. And in they go. Now we can replace, if you can't find coriander seeds in your market, you can just buy some ground coriander. We use one tablespoon here in place of the whole coriander seeds, you can just use one teaspoon of ground coriander. Now we're also going to put in some cumin seeds. In they go. And with the coriander seeds and cumin seeds, we add some cayenne pepper. Yum. Wonderful. <laughs> this chili definitely has a kick. You can obviously have more of a kick or less of a kick depending on your preference. And we'll exactly. also be adding chili powder later and also I think we have a lot of chili powder, but you can add less up to you. So we're just going to wait for the spices to darken a little bit. Do you want to stir that around, Colleen? I will. Thank you. Yeah, great. And one of the other tips I give to people to make things a lot faster for them is, did you hear that pop? Did you I hear the popping the sound? It's wonderful. And so, that's actually our cue to put in the onions. Exactly. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Wonderful. In they go. Sizzle, sizzle. Do you mind if I pull No, this? please do. Thanks. Just finish that off. One of the things you can do to speed things up is to make grains in advance. Obviously grains should be a big part of your diet. When I talk about grains, I mean whole grains. I don't mean white rice. White rice is white because it's been completely stripped of its fiber. So when I say grains, I mean things like we're going to look at right now. And you can make this on a Sunday, make it in advance, so that when you come home during the week and you're tired and you want to make a stir fry, you don't have to come home and wait for the boil, the water to boil and make your grain. So, okay, uh, just to yes. bring everybody to, up to speed on what we've been doing, we put in the onions, we put in some garlic, we put in some oregano, and now we're putting in some chili powder. It's a lot of chili powder, it's a lot of chili powder because this chili has some nice kick to it. Great. Well, why don't we let this saute and we can start talking about some of the grains we have over here. Sounds great, Colleen. Well, to begin with, we have over here some brown rice. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a standard grain, of course, and this is short grain. You can get brown long rice. grain as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we have a lot of other grains here, and we encourage people to try some of the other grains. They have different flavors, different textures, different cooking times, exactly. which is fun. Yep. Now this is amaranth. Amaranth, isn't right? it precious? It's, it's lovely. Tiny in the middle. It's so sweet. It's one of the ancient <laughs> grains. I love grains. I really do. I mean, I'm looking at all of this food. I'm looking at these grains, and there's such a, an emotional response I'm having to it. It's so gorgeous, and so it's so pretty, and I can't help saying that. It's just so gorgeous. <laughs> Colleen is very maternal about her grains. <laughs> Uh, and here we have couscous. Now couscous is a Moroccan grain and it's used a lot in Moroccan cooking. It's true and technically not a grain. It's oh. actually a semolina pasta. It's a very small pasta but I wanted to show you here today another option and it's very fast cooking. So couscous is one of those things that if you don't make it in advance, you can make it when you come home after exactly. working and it's really fast. Well, I have found that couscous is really fun to use at work because I don't need a stove top. All I need to do is boil some water in a kettle is it or fun? in a micro. Is it, it fun? It's, it's fun. very fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> See, you have the same experience. I do. I do. Okay, I'm maternal as well. Mm. Now here we have we wahani have. rice. Wahani rice. Now, not a lot of people know about wahani rice. I even have a difficult time finding it sometimes, but ask your local natural food store. They can even order it for you. It's packed with protein. It has more protein mm. than brown rice. It has a wonderful chewy flavor. Mm. It's chewy texture, great flavor, and it's a beautiful color. It's really, it's my favorite, it's my favorite rice if I had a favorite rice. Which you do. I do have a favorite <laughs> rice. And here we have 
uh, Bulgur. Mm -hmm. Bulgur is a relative of couscous. And what I had wanted to say earlier, before you interrupted me, so uh, was that with both couscous and bulgur, you don't have to cook them on a stove top. All you have to do is boil some water. You can have your couscous or bulgur in a bowl, and then you just add the boiling water, you stir it around with a fork, and you let it sit there for some time, probably about 10 or 15 minutes. That's great. Yeah, not yeah. long. Not long at all. Do you think it's because and then they're it's related? Ready. That's great. Is it because they're related that they're so quick cooking? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yes. They're like sisters. Okay. okay. And here we have barley, which is pretty familiar to a lot mm. of people, used in soups to add a little bit of texture. Beautiful. And add some filling. This is... Millet. Millet, yes. right. Millet's a great grain. Now, millet looks very similar to quinoa. I've actually is, never cooked with millet. I have cooked with millet very little. I actually, if we could get to the quinoa. All right. I really want to get to the quinoa. Someone's a little over anxious I here. I love quinoa. I really do. Do you Again, want to marry it? I want to marry it. It's a grain that not a lot of people know about as well. It's not, it doesn't sound the way it's spelled. And people don't really have an easy time finding it, but please get familiar with quinoa. It's also one of the most nutritious grains, in, including the Wihani rice. It's so beautiful. It's very tight there, but when mm -hmm. it's cooked, it opens up, it's translucent, it's really beautiful. And it cooks in about 10, 15 minutes, not long at all. So this is something you can do. I really encourage you to add grains to your diet as much as you're adding whole vegetables and color to your diet. Add some grains to your diet as well. Terrific. Well, it looks like these onions are cooking up. They're going to take another minute or so. So why don't we come back after they've been cooked for a while and they're nice and translucent. Sounds great. Great. Well, it looks like our onions are beautifully translucent now, so we're ready to put in our peppers. We have green peppers. Thanks, Colleen. You're welcome. Uh, some gorgeous orange peppers. That's really beautiful. And some yellow peppers. Terrific. Now you could have put the peppers in when you sauteed the onions, that's fine as well. And now we're ready to put in our beans and we have three kinds of beans. And again, just to make things easier for you, if you don't have all different kinds of beans, you can do just one bean chili, but this obviously makes it more exciting. There's more variety, there's more color. Now those are white beans, what are those called? Those were cannellini beans, you can use great northern beans or um, uh, navy beans. Right. Now black those I recognize, black beans, good. And our kidney beans. Lovely. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Now at this point we're also going to put in our tomatoes. Chair ref. And our corn. Great. Thanks, Colleen. Beautiful. Uh, now basically at this point what we want to do is stir this. We want to bring all of this to a nice boil. Uh, and at that point, we'll lower the heat and simmer for about 20 minutes. You can simmer for longer if you like, and all that will do is intensify the flavors even more. Great. And we just wanted to talk about some other one-dish meals you can make to speed things up at home. You can make casseroles, you can make uh, pot pies right. or curries. I think it's really good advice to make something again on a Sunday, something you can heat up for lunch the next day. This dish obviously is perfect for it. And you can serve this with so many different things. You can serve it with polenta or cornbread or tortilla chips or corn chips. There's so many different things you can serve with it. And, uh, exactly. Great. Now this chili is going to get nice and beautiful as the tomatoes heat up and become part of the chili and all of it becomes one lovely dish. At that point we'll be adding our salt and pepper and when you're finished cooking you can also add some chopped herb. We have some chopped parsley here which is really lovely. Now if you prefer a meaty texture for your chili, this is already going to have so much texture. But there are lovely products out on the market today, including the Gimme Lean. This is actually zero fat. It's so beautiful. There's also a sausage style, but of course, for the chili, we're going to go ahead and use the beef style. Sausage is great. And there's also this, an Eve's product, Ground Round, and it's lovely. Uh, all of these products are already cooked and they're already flavored, so all you have to do is take out your handy dandy scissors, snip and put into your pot and you're done. It's Quick. that easy. That's great. And boca uh, crumbles. Uh, there's boca right. burgers, but there's also boca crumbles you can also buy and it's already all crumbled up. And again, these things are already cooked. So you're just heating them up once you add them to something like spaghetti yeah. sauce or right. something Taco like your chili. filling. Great. Love that stuff. I make a beautiful shepherd's pie with the boca crumbles. Love it. Wonderful. So basically after this is simmering for a while, you said about 20 minutes, could be 30 minutes, could be an right. hour. It's really, really up to you. Yeah. We wanted to show you what our finished uh. 
product looks like. Here it is. There we have it. It's just beautiful and we're serving it with some corn chips, some guacamole. And this is a soy-based sour cream. It's a tofuti sour cream called Sour Supreme. Gorgeous. Mm. There it is. Enjoy.